Milwaukee with my tail between my legs to regroup. So maybe I'll come back, who knows. But I figured I'd come to Inspire Word because out of all the things in New York that has pissed me off and caused so much trouble in my life, Inspire Word has been the most consistent, warm place that I could come to just to, just to be, you know? says a lot, so, you know, let it be what it be. So here we go. From 41st Street to Hampton Avenue, that's where I was, am, and always will be. See, these words are inspired from playing bike tag in the streets until your tire caught a flat like a Coke can. Hit over and over again by the basketball. Courts always seem to be crowded. Quick to fill up on Saturdays. Quick to empty out when the gun sprays. Water. Until you had to run in the house and reload. Or until your hand cramped up the block. A church that rang its bell once every half hour. And played a tune every hour. Curfew. Street lights. God bless the man who came up with the idea of blacking out certain city blocks in order to save money in the county budget. Cause see, even kids in the suburbs never had it that easy. They told me, Nigel, representing the 220 program that takes kids out of the hood and into the suburbs to complete their education on every video game system that my boy Tehran had, who I called T. Jay moved away when I was 12 years old to Brown Deer, which is only like 15 minutes away, but felt like a whole... Another country time lemonade sold for a quarter in eight ounce cups from the front porch to the end of the block. And don't let me catch you trying to cross that street. You know your father will be home from off the road tonight. I might contemplate running away. Because, see, I never fully understood my father and all the lessons he would try to teach me. And I would hate the way he would yell at me for not cleaning up my room. Mate was my older sister. And we would console one another after whoopings from the comet. The crazy old man in the truck. But with the exception of one, none of my friends knew or rarely saw their father. Checking me when I would go off on my tangents, at least you got a mother fucker. So that caused me to redirect my thoughts toward the man who taught me about life. From status quo to psychos, and yes, I'm talking about girls who always seem to fall in love with the bad boys that mama would slap the black off of. So light-skinned brothers became the style for a while until summertime came around and turned their skin to nice gold and brown for mellow yellow and nine laters and quarter store runs with hands filled with nickels and dimes because only the ballers roll with quarters and half dollars with the silver center. That weren't worth more than me, or so my grandma told, cause see, I had that heart of gold. Nevertheless, she gave me a hundred of them. Told me to put them in a safety deposit box, because one day they'll be worth a lot like people with the knowledge of themselves. Now notice how I said people, because that's what we all love. People. Our skin color does not determine what we're capable of. Our location does not control what we are powerful from saving ourselves, from saving the world, from saving my place in line. Cause I left my lunch money in my locker, along with my books and my homework. Cause when three o'clock came around, I was free, like an open cuff. I couldn't make it back to 41st Street fast enough sugar in my system. You might question my sexuality, but actually, it kept me from developing a taste for alcohol. Burns like hell no matter what cut scrape you put it on. A band-aid, then hop on your bike racing against nightfall. Hoping to get in one more game of street football before sunset. Cast that shadow on my backyard. From 41st Street to Hampton Avenue. Thank you.